Okay, this is going to be a quick review of the multi-function clock. This is a clock camera. It's a spy camera. I really like this spy clock. It's got a mirror finish, and the camera is actually hidden behind the mirror. It's really cool. I love it. It's a really awesome clock. It looks good. It has a, like a contemporary type design. Um, it's got a nice round, glossy finish. It's an awesome little clock. And as you can see here, it has really awesome 1280 by 960 video resolution. It also features a 120 degree field of view. It's able to do that because it has a lens which is larger than other typical spy clocks. So it can be bigger because it's hidden behind a mirror rather than having to peek out from behind a tiny little pinhole like other spy clocks. As you can see, it's changing from the time to the date to the temperature. So another, that's another cool feature. It does that automatically. So you get the time of day, that's September 30th, and then 78 degrees Fahrenheit. You can switch back and forth between Celsius and Fahrenheit readings. Uh, it also has a what's called a soothing sounds. You hold the snooze button down, and you can hear it make sort of outdoorsy type sounds and you can change the sound there's six different ones there's some water rushing sounds like some birds in that one now my only real complaint I have about this clock is the instruction booklet which it normally comes with it has been badly translated from Chinese, so it can be difficult to comprehend. There is also vital information left out. For example, there are no directions at all on how to change the timestamp. You will absolutely not be able to change the timestamp to the correct time without knowing the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. So I have some good news. If you order one of these from me, I will include this set of easy quick start instructions that I have developed in plain English to get you up and running in no time, including how to change the timestamp. It also functions as an alarm clock. Um, you set everything by hitting the set button here. So I'm going to hit the set button. And right now it's allowing me to, to adjust the date. And just use the down and the up buttons to uh, set the date for whatever the date is. Or, or the year actually. And then hit the set button again. And it allows you to set the hours. And I'm sorry, that's the month. And then that's the day. And then it goes to hours and minutes. Just like a regular clock. So that's how you set it. It's very simple, just like a regular desk clock. All the functions on here are just like a regular type of desk clock. There's no indication on here. That's another thing that I really like about this clock, is there's no indication it's a spy camera, unless you actually see this remote. This remote has all the buttons for uh, video recording, for motion detection, for taking pictures, and just recording sound only, as well as the power on and off the camera. So unless you actually have this remote or you see it, there's no indication that this is a spy clock. The camera lens is hidden behind there. Very difficult to see, if, if at all. So that's what I love about this camera. Using the clock for a spy camera is very simple. You just remove the plastic tab from the battery protector out of the remote. And you just power on the clock using the power button. And the blue LED will come on. Okay, and then to take video, you just press the video button. Watch the blue LED. See how it blinks? One, two, three times. And then it goes out. So I'm recording video now. As simple as that. You want to stop recording video? Just press the video button again blue light comes back on. To put it in motion detect mode, this is the motion detect button right here. You just press the motion detect button. Now the LED blinks one time, two times, then goes out. So now you're in motion detect mode. I'm already moving the camera around so it's already recording. One thing to note, when it's in motion detect mode, you don't see any LEDs lit up. That's another thing I like. This thing is totally stealthy. In order to stop recording video while in motion detect mode, you just press the motion detect button again. The blue LED light comes on. Now taking a picture, just as simple. This right here is the picture button. So you just hold the remote like that, take a picture, LED goes out, goes back on. That means it just took a picture. 
The recording audio only is very handy if you don't want to waste a bunch of disk space. So if you want to just record conversations that are going on in a room, you press the audio button. Press the little mic button and the blue LED blinks once and that's it. And then it goes out. Now you're recording audio. Recording audio only. So now we're going to press the mic button again. The LED comes on and you stop recording and save the file. So that's how easy it is. Extremely simple to use this item. It also tells the time just by press, pressing the snooze button quickly. 11.07 a.m. So Alvin and the Chipmunks will tell you exactly what time it is, or a supermodel with anorexia, whichever you... 11.07 a.m. I don't know exactly who that is. 11.07 a.m. Not sure if they used the actor for that voice or not. So here's the battery compartment. And one thing, uh, I'm going to warn you really quick, this thing will break if you're not careful. Uh, caution, caution here. Be really careful when you press this down. Getting it out of there is not that big a deal. Okay, it, it comes out pretty easy, but when you try to put this back in, pay attention here. This is how I do it. I got two fingers pressing this way, downward on it, and then you kind of push it in just so there's just so it's down as far as it'll go. And then you gently press that down. Because that thin plastic right there, see it wasn't even in all the way. That thin plastic will break. So fair warning, don't break your battery covers. If you do, you end up with a broken battery cover. It still works, but it's just kind of a pain. Okay, so inside we've got a two, uh, 2400 milliamp hour 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. When you first get the clock, it'll have this little disc pressed in there, which keeps the battery from being worn out during storage and shipment. So make sure you pull this white disc out. Okay, here's an on off switch. Uh, in order for the camera to work, you need that in the on position. If you're charging the battery, the instructions say to turn it off. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that does. It just probably disables the camera. But turn it on if you want to uh, record video. Right here's the micro SD slot. This clock will work with up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Putting the card in can be a little bit of a challenge. What I do is I use uh, a little screwdriver push it in like that. Same thing with getting it out. If you try to get this out with your finger, you can do it. You can unclick it. But then trying to get this out of here can be kind of hard to do. So I just take a screwdriver and just pull it out like that. Kind of like make tweezers, right? And this is the USB charging slot. Now one thing about this camera is it comes with two USB cords. One is an AC adapter cord. This will plug right into your wall. You can charge it right from your wall and you can also power the camera. You can actually Plug this camera in to the USB port, plug it into the wall, and then sit there and record with it on. The battery will charge and it will take video while you're recording. The only downside is you have to have the battery cover off while you're charging. So someone might be able to see that it has an SD card slot, which looks a little suspicious. That's the only downside. This clock also functions as a regular alarm clock. To get into alarm clock mode, you press the mode button, you get four dashes, then press the set button and then you can set the alarm. So right now it's set for 12 o'clock and you just use the up and down buttons to adjust the time for whatever time you want. Press set again, that takes you to the minutes. So you can set it for 3.05 in the morning or the afternoon depending on how you have your clock set up. Okay, press the set button again and it gets to the uh, snooze duration. This allows you to determine how many minutes after you press the snooze button that the alarm sounds again. So if I set it for one minute, then it'll uh, it'll start alarming again after one minute after I press the snooze button. So that's all that is. Press the set button again, and you can determine what sound is played. Again, there's six sounds. So you can cycle through them and decide which sound you want to wake up to, including a number six, which is a beep. Okay? So once that's done, you hit set again. Now press the mode button again and you get back to the time. If you like what you see here and you want more information on this awesome piece of surveillance equipment, just click the link below. I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe to see more awesome gadget demos.